Hi, this is Sarah from Sozo Stories. Let's go once again with the twins, the treetop twins. Let's see what they're up to. The water swished and swirled as winds rippled the surface and creatures moved beneath. It's so beautiful, it's so magical. The treetop family have taken their time machine, not back in time, but up, up into the air, high above the South Pacific Ocean. Professor Penelope and Professor Pablo were hoping to photograph some of the animals that lived in the ocean from above. You can see the dolphins. From their position high up in the sky, the treetop family could see dolphins leaping out of the water. But it wasn't dolphins they were looking for. They were hoping to see something a little bigger. Wow, said Alfie, pointing downwards. Is that? Down below, a most enormous shape had come to the surface of the water. It's a blue whale, said Asha. The professors were so excited. They grabbed their cameras from around their necks and quickly began photographing the big blue whale. Oh, there's a blue whale. Here you can see all of them looking. It's huge, said Ted. The whale was longer than three bu buses back to back. So it's long as three buses. And look at what's there next to it, said Asha. It was a baby whale, which wasn't small either. The baby was about the size of an elephant. The blue whale is the largest mammal that has ever lived on the earth, said Professor Penelope. Her eyes shining and they're very shy and rare. So we're incredibly lucky to see them up close like this. Whoosh! A great jet of water and air puffed out of the mother whale's blow holes and shot nearly as high as the treetop family. I can see the blue whale has two blow holes, said Tulip in excitement. Another gigantic blue whale swam up beside the mother. They seem to be trying to push the baby whale to the surface. What are they doing? asked Ted. They're helping the baby take its very first breath, explained Professor Pablo. How very kind of them, said Tulip. Oh yes, blue whales are shy, but they're very kind, said Professor Penelope. Not surprisingly, because great big whales have great big hearts. A blue whale's heart is as big as a piano. The treetop family took photos of the whales until the sun began to go down and they decided it was probably time to head back to the shore for dinner. Professor Pablo went to the controls to turn the time machine around. As he did so, the three whales sent up three jets of water from their blowholes. They're waving us goodbye, said Tulip, waving back goodbye lovely whales. But the time machine didn't seem to be turning around. It seemed to be dipping down towards the sea. Uh-oh. What's happening? Ted asked Professor Pablo. I'm afraid we're a bit low on fuel, said Professor Pablo. Oh dear, worried Professor Penelope. Whatever shall we do? As the time machine sank lower and lower, Alfie spotted something. Hey, Tulip, rather than waving at the whales, why don't you wave at that boat down there instead, said Alfie, pointing at a huge ship. Maybe they can give us a lift home. So Tulip and the rest of the treetop family all waved and shouted at the boat below. And eventually the captain of the ship looked up. He blinked in surprise at the strange sight, but sure enough, he changed his course to pick them up. Professor Pablo went to the controls and made the time machine go down until it was gently resting on the deck of the boat and the treetop family were brought back 
to the shore. Night time on the shore of the South Pacific Ocean. The treetop family were having supper around the campfire. Out in the bay, the dolphins were playing games in the light of the moon. Wasn't it kind of the captain of the boat to rescue us, said Tulip? It was, said Professor Penelope. A human heart may not be as big as a blue whale's heart, but humans can be kind and helpful too.